Six Quick Reasons to End Capitalism Now An Essay by Eric Schechter Everything we've been told about economics is wrong, and mere reforms won't fix the problem because it's not just a straying from principles. It's in our society's principles themselves, which need changing. First, markets, even free ones, increase inequality by favoring those in a better bargaining position. Thus, the market concentrates wealth and power into few hands. The super-rich, so long as they exist, will find ways to buy loopholes in legislators and to control government and market. Second, privately owned workplaces are little tyrannies. That's why we hate Mondays, and why robots and other forms of progress mean layoffs, not leisure. On the other hand, Stalinist dictatorship is not required for sharing. Look at the anarcho-commies of Catalonia, Chiapas, and the early church. Third, sociologists have found that competition and private gain actually are poor motivators. People prefer cooperation and community. Four, power corrupts. The powerful become abusive no matter how they gain power over others, as a soldier or policeman or prison guard or through market or revolution or election. I urge participatory government. Fifth, public shootings are commonplace, but we don't shoot our friends. Why aren't we all friends? Separate property creates separate lives, alienation, and apathy, devouring our souls. Sixth, market pricing is highly inefficient regarding unmeasured externalized costs such as war, poverty, and recently ecocide. We've lived separately for 10,000 years, but for 200,000 years before that we lived cooperatively, sharing everything of importance. That's still our true nature. Join the conversation. We're all needed on the planning committee.